Nick Young, look what you've done to NBA players. Or no, it's JR. I'm not Nick. It's JR. Everybody want to walk around without their shirt on. It's IG for it. You can take shirtless pics all summer. And a parade. Oh, oh that one for sure, JR. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, we're going to start with Davide here on the left. Davide Chinellato with uh, Gazzetta in Italy. Congrats, guys, for the win. Mm -hmm. uh, Andre, this is your fourth championship with, the, with this team. What makes this championship special more than the others? Uh, this one, this one is, this one holds a lot of weight, just because of, you know, all the shots, you know, each championship they they threw at us, you know, or particularly they threw at Steph, you know, the Finals MVP on the first one, and then you know, KD, probably best player in the world, you know, trying to say that was unfair, and, and then you go a year where you win, what well, they win 15 games, and then you know last year uh, not being able to get to the playoffs and. Uh, for everything to come back together the way it did with me leaving and then coming back um, and, you know, different role, different capacity, um, and then having um, amazing teammates um, and a, a different set of, like, supporting cast. You know, this guy right here was huge for us. You know, earned himself a big payday this summer. Uh, really happy for him, Wiggins, Jordan Poole, the, the growth of those guys. But more than anything, Steph, you know, I think he solidified himself today, you know, as, as not even today, just his career as the best point guard of all time. Next question in the middle. Uh, this is Daniel Bell, BSO. This is for Gary. I uh, saw the picture with you and your dad. Um, first off, what does it mean to be able to bring another championship to the family? And then how special is it to be able to share that moment with your dad who played in this league? Um, you know, it's huge. You know, um, it's crazy. You know, never would have thought, you know, something like this would happen. And uh, I think I got mine sooner than he got his. So, yeah, and I'm one for one. So, we know we're going to try to keep it, keep it that way. But, uh, you know, it's something to talk about. And, you know, I can get, I can get my stuff off against him now. So, it's good. <laughs> we'll go to Shane in the middle. Hey, Andre. Shane Young with Ford Sports. What's it mean to see how Draymond kind of started the series rocky, had a few bumps in, in the road, but for him to come out and be impactful mm -hmm. on both ends of the floor, mm -hmm. defensively disrupting everything tonight, like what's his – What's his leadership been like for you all throughout this entire journey? Yeah, you know, you talk about, the, you know, the fabric of this team throughout the last eight years. And uh, I've been saying this over and over. And them, those, those three guys have had a, this league in the, in the chokehold, you know, in the headlock for a good period of time. And you go historically, there aren't too many teams that have been able to do that. It's a handful. You know, you had the Celtics, obviously, a few times, the Lakers, the Bulls. Uh, Spurs was a little bit more spread out. You know, and they were able to, you know, they, they did an amazing job as an organization. But what we have did, we'll, you know, you, you're watching Winning Time, It's Magic, 30 for 30, The Last Dance. All those things stand the test of time. But there's only a few of those, and this falls right in line with that. And, and that's probably the most beautiful thing. And you need, you know, you need to have a certain type of fabric. And Draymond was, you know, the, the balance between two guys who grew up in the NBA you know, what they aren't enamored by, you know, the world we live in as professional athletes and, and the glitz and the glamour. Um, and our culture with the Warriors is, you know, a little bit more carefree and loose, you know, but sometimes that can, you know, that can take you out. You know, looking last year, not making the playoffs, how many turnovers they had, you know, in the last two games to, to get in. And I think Draymond's discipline, his hunger, his focus, you know, his tenacity is a great balance to those two guys. So, you you know, it's the yin and the yang, and he doesn't get enough credit for, you know, his his, his brain and, and, you know, the IQ he brings to, this, to the game of basketball. Uh, it's such a beautiful thing for him to uh, – we knew he was going to come together. You know, I talked about it in my podcast, Point Four, where, you know, I wasn't worried about Draymond. I think I think game – game four, they said he didn't play well. How many points did he have game four? He had – Two points, four points, but he had eight. He had he had eight points and he had eight rebounds, nine assists or something. He was he was a triple double without the points, and the guys had a triple double without points. How many times does that happen in NBA history? So you know, he's brass and he is the way he is who he is. But when you need him, he shows up. And tonight, that triple double alert was right there, and uh, just really happy for him and his future uh, as the new media. You know, the sky's the limit for him. Next question here in the middle. Uh, Mauro Bevacqua, Sky Sport, Italy. Uh, seven years ago today, you won your very first championship. Mm -hmm. How much has stayed the same? How much has changed throughout this long journey? Well, if anything, uh, the foundation has stayed the same. You know, and it's a strong foundation 
And you know, you, you hear about that. You know, the foundation you build on determines the, you know, the strength of the of the structure of the uh, of the building. And uh, like I said, with Steph, Clay, Draymond, uh, what they've done in this league and uh, the foundation they've been able to build. You know, you got to give them a lot of credit. And in, in, you know, in a hundred years, you're going to be talking about you know some of the best players and teams and foundations. And those three guys, you know, they kind of they did a template of, you know, how do you build championship pedigree. Next question, Maddie, on the right. Gary, you were going to like apply for a video coordinator role at the beginning of the season. You were a fringe player for the last few years. I mean, to be here, be an NBA champion, how surreal is this moment for you? Um, it's, just, it's just crazy. Um, you know, just, just a journey. Um, it's been a big learning you know, experience for me. And um, I appreciate every, every moment I had, all the falls. You know, just to, um, you know, just help me build on, you know, just sticking with it and just keep going. So um, I'm still speeches right now. Is 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 crazy right now. Dalton in the middle. Hey, Andre Dalton Johnson, NBC Sports Bay Area. You just said that Steph solidified himself as the best point guard of all time. Mm -hmm. People debate, you know, greatest players ever, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But when you think about the influence and the impact he's made on the game, mm -hmm. would you put him up there with on the Mount Rushmore of the NBA and, and for how he's going forward? 100%. And you, you talk about his size. You, you've never seen a guy his size dominate the league like this, you know, and just to put the weight of everything on his shoulders throughout a final series. You know, like, you, you, we, we all saw what he was doing to them boys. It was like, you know, normally you get a guy that's a center, like an Akeem or a Shaq or Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, you know, you know those guys are six, seven and, and, and taller. And, you know, they can get to their spots. They can shoot over guys. But the guy his height who's, you know, um, uh, vertically challenged, they would say, just you saw it. We all saw it. It was just incredible. You know, uh, he had a pull up in the third quarter from deep. You know, he had a, uh, he had a look away three, you know, uh, pardon my back three, you know, he'd shoot it and walk away. I mean, that's just probably my favorite part of, you know, one of the favorite parts of my career from being drafted, playing Olympics and all these things is just to see uh, that talent like that. And I've said it time and time again, you know, uh, we're getting away from the appreciating, you know, uh, I call them gods, but, you know, that, that, that very unique talent, generational talents, because we're so close to them, we don't appreciate them, appreciate them as much. And um, when he's gone, we're really going to miss him and, and forget, you know, how much of an impact not just on, you know, the Warriors or the NBA, but on the entire globe. Like, you know, he made the world move. Thank you, guys.